Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Recently, this amazing lady, Carrie Hirsch, along with her son George as co-writer, and of course, husband Butch Hirsch, photographer, released the publication of the College Man's Cookbook. She drops by today to talk about why the book was written. Carrie, welcome. Well, thank you so much, Sandy. So excited. Me too. And um, I do I have a message from George, my son and co-author of The College Man's Cookbook, that I was not to come empty-handed this morning, that I needed to whip up something from the cookbook for you. Well, so this morning we made a fresh batch of peanut butter cookies. They're, they're beautiful. Thank you, George. <laughs> Thank you. So you and George obviously decided to write the College Man's Cookbook. What, what made you come up well, with that idea? The first year when he um, enrolled at UGA as a freshman, he was with the meal plan, so right. he wasn't doing much cooking. When he, uh, and during the second year, when he moved out and had a multitude of roommates, I think at one point it was five, you know, they all had to start cooking. He right. said, Mom, it's deer in the headlights. Nobody knows how to make pasta. Nobody knows how to boil water. You know, and he loves to cook. He's cooked with me since he was born, practically. Um, I, I'd have him in the, like the baby backpack while I was cooking, you know, and right. just feeding him like a little bird, like over my shoulder. So, uh, so you know, he loves cooking. It really brings people together. So he just started cooking, and uh, you know, the roommates they'd all go shopping together, and he'd end up cooking. You know, a few of them had some basics down, but for the most part, they didn't. So um, he all kind of felt like a teacher as well. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's an art to cooking. Kind of the, the room mother or room dad yeah, sort exactly. of thing, you know. Because, you know, college, you don't have to, have to just be limited to um, cereal and ramen noodles. Right. And pizza. You know, right. that, you, there, are, you, there are so many different things that you can whip up at home quickly. You save a lot of money. A lot of money. And also, you know, when you're going out on that fast food train yeah. and you're doing that every day, it's not good for you. It's your, it'll, you know, your energy is going to dip. You're not going to feel great. You're going to yeah. feel sluggish and tired because you're not getting like good, fresh uh, food. And all the recipes are from scratch. We don't use processed ingredients. We do use microwaves. We understand, we have to be realistic that boys right. are going to use microwaves, so we, we use microwaves, we have no problem with that. So um, what was the criteria about how you and George came up with the, the 100 recipes then? Well, what we did was we, um, for years, we had actually started writing down the recipes and kind of testing them. And then we just, then at that point, we categorized them. There are 10 different chapters, you okay. know, from uh, Hangover Helper, Okay, that's chapter one. Just in case you're feeling a little hungover, you know, maybe you were up too late for, you're studying too late, and you feel a little hungover. So you need to uh, get a little mango shake in you. And then, you know, we, we've got main courses, side dishes, desserts. Then we have a special chapter. Um, mid, we have midnight snacks, which is a fun chapter. But then a, the most important is when your parents or your, you know, relatives come to visit, what you make for them. It's wow. called uh, impress the rents. So I guess rents is how the college kids say parents, which George explained that to me. <laughs> That's so cute. So uh, tell us some of the tips which George wrote in the college vernacular. Oh, gosh. It's, uh, you know, how to shop, what to, what to buy, how to shop. Um, one that he wrote that he got a kick out of was, like, cooking is a new golf. You know, it's, it's a way to connect with people. And when you go on a job interview and you want to make an impression, you never know what subject is going to come up. You never know who the inter what maybe the interviewer likes to cook or brings up food right. or restaurants or culinary anything. And you're right there. You know you can talk the talk. Um, you know he wrote like the spaghetti test. And how do you know when your spaghetti's done? Well, you take a piece out, you throw it against the wall. If it doesn't, so stick, he's added it's quite done. a bit of humor to this oh, yeah. as well. Yes, it's, he interjected a lot of humor. A yeah. lot of humor. Um, and then, you know, he, he uh, you know, at one point he might, a roommate might ask him, oh, well, you know, this raw chicken has been in the fridge for three weeks. Is it okay? Absolutely not, unless you want to go to the ER. Exactly. You know, so a lot of food safety tips. Yeah. You know. Um, Which, again, is important for, it, for um, young adults. It really is important. Mm -hmm. They don't have a sense. Um, something we kind of coined, um, well, um, it's around, I'm sure, but we call it the nose test. You always want to do a nose test when it comes to your poultry, your, your, your fish, your chicken, your meat. Just right. take us, you, and you have to trust your instinct. If it smells bad, 
it, it is well, bad. It, it is bad. So cooking it will not salvage it. <laughs> no. It'll just be bad and it'll just be cooked. That's the only difference. Cooked and bad. Cooked and Quickly, bad. Quickly, uh, where can people uh, purchase it? It is available on Amazon.com. So you just go on Amazon.com, type in the College Man's Cookbook, and it's $19.95, and hopefully you're Amazon Prime uh, member, so you get the free shipping, and um, it's available right now. Well, congratulations to you, George and Butch, and uh, best with the book. Thank and you. I'm sure there'll be something else coming out, so oh, you and, come back. And there will be, and it's the College Woman's Cookbook. Excellent. That's, that's a work in progress. <laughs> and this is a gift from George and me to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, because easy is good. <laughs> Thank not you, that George. You, not that you need it, but I just thought I wanted you to have a copy as a small uh, token for having me on the show today. Wonderful. Carrie, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Thank you, Sandy. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.